Zimbabwe, a country with a rich history and breathtaking natural beauty, is on the brink of something spectacular. It's a nation that's been on a development journey, and these mega-projects are the turbo boosters propelling it toward a brighter future. We're talking about mega-projects, massive, awe-inspiring endeavors that have the potential to reshape the entire nation. They're about a Zimbabwe where businesses flourish, job opportunities abound, and every citizen's quality of life soars to new heights. They're about uniting people, sparking innovation, and shaping the nation's destiny. They're about creating a Zimbabwe that's not only prosperous but also united, socially enriched, and politically empowered. So, my viewers join us as we explore these incredible megaprojects. 5. Wang Thermal Power Station Expansion Zimbabwe, like many countries, has had its fair share of power challenges. The 1050 MW Kariba South Hydroelectric Station, once the shining star, had its output drastically reduced due to continuous droughts limiting its water supply. Consequently, in December 2022, the government announced an incentive program to support $1 billion in solar power projects, a potential 1 gigawatt boost to the power grid. And right on cue, the Wang Thermal Power Station expansion swoops in. The Wang Thermal Power Station, the largest thermal power plant in Zimbabwe, was already impressive with its four 120 MW units and two 220 MW units. But of late, it's been plagued by frequent outages, making it less reliable. Therefore, the government has an expansion plan with two new 300 MW units that are in the works, bringing fresh life to this aging powerhouse. The Zimbabwe Power Company, ZPC, is spearheading this $1.4 billion upgrade, with 85% of the funding backed by China. Furthermore, the expansion project was first proposed in December 2015, and by May 2017, a $120 million debt package was finalized with Standard Bank Group to breathe new life into Wang and Kariba South Hydro. As of 2021, Wang operated an average of just two units out of a target of five, with Unit 3 undergoing a major overhaul and Units 1 and 2 damaged in a fire. Fortunately, Unit 5 made a comeback in September 2021, boosting the station's output by 150 megawatts, and in November 2022, the Zimbabwe Power Company revealed plans for refurbishing the old units, thanks to a loan facility from India. Fast forward to May 2023, and the expansion project for Unit 7 and 8 is almost complete, with Unit 7 undergoing final tests and Unit 8 synced to the grid. In December 2021, they kicked off a 360-kilometer electricity transmission project linking Wang to Bulawayo. And guess what? In May 2023, it's over 84% done. 4. Kariba South Hydropower Station Expansion The Kariba South Power Plant is a powerhouse located on the south bank of the Kariba Dam, the world's largest man-made dam by water storage capacity. It's perched right on the Zambezi River, straddling the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Notably, the Kariba South Station typically serves up more than half of Zimbabwe's electricity with its jaw-dropping 185 billion cubic meters of water storage capacity. However, since May 2019, a prolonged drought has gripped the region, sending water levels plummeting. By December 2019, the Kariba South plant's output was slashed to a mere one-fourth of its capacity. And as if that wasn't enough, the energy crisis due to drought and low water levels continued into January 2023, with water levels sinking to a mere 1% of capacity. Consequently, the government is carrying out the Kariba Dam Rehabilitation Project, which is a massive £235 million, $294 million, endeavor that kicked off in 2017 to mend the deformities that had cropped up in this iconic structure. The rehabilitation project involves reshaping the plunge pool and refurbishing the spillway gates. Funding for this ambitious venture comes from grants and loans from the European Union, the World Bank, the Government of Sweden, and the Zambezi River Authority, ZRA. Furthermore, it's about guaranteeing the structural integrity of the Kariba Dam, ensuring a steady supply of power to Zimbabwe and Zambia for years to come, and maintaining a sustainable generation of power, 
not just for the folks in Zimbabwe and Zambia but for the entire Southern African development community. Moreover, a consortium of GE Hydro France and Freycinet International, a subsidiary of Vinci Construction, has taken charge of the Kariba Dam spillway rehabilitation, which wraps up in 2025. 3. Batoka Gorge Hydroelectric Power Station The Batoka Gorge Hydroelectricity Scheme, a colossal 2.4 gigawatt hydroelectric project located right on the Zambezi River, about 54 kilometers downstream of the mighty Victoria Falls that's straddling the boundary between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Notably, this project is jointly undertaken by both governments, Zambia and Zimbabwe, through the Zambezi River Authority, ZRA. This £4 billion, $5.2 billion, Mega project is expected to kick off construction in 2020 and reach completion in 2026. Furthermore, the Batoka Gorge Hydroelectric Power Station is a gravity arch dam standing 181 meters high and stretching 720 meters long. But that's not all, there will be not one but two 1,200 megawatt surface power plants, one on each bank of the Zambezi River. Each of these power plants will house six hydroelectric turbines each churning out 200 megawatts of power, and the reservoir will have a catchment area spanning a staggering 508,000 square kilometers. Besides, the Batoka Gorge will have a spillway that can handle a whopping 20,000 cubic meters of water per second. Moreover, the power will be transmitted through a network of overhead transmission lines, a 330 kilovolt line for Zambia and a 400 kilovolt line for Zimbabwe. 2. Mbudzi Interchange the Mbudzi roundabout, once known for its endless traffic jams, is undergoing a massive transformation with a plan to close the roundabout and make way for a brand new traffic interchange. This project is the brainchild of the Tafoma Consortium, a dynamic alliance of local construction companies, Tensor Construction, Fossil Contracting, and Masimba Holdings. Notably, the Mbudzi interchange, with a price tag of 88 million US dollars, is already 37% complete. But what make this project truly unique are the bridges. Bridge numbers 4 and 5, for instance, are not your average bridges, they're curved, and they're being built concurrently to save time. Besides, bridge number 4 will be one of the first in Zimbabwe to have suspended pipes, which means it'll be light and incredibly sturdy, capable of carrying a significant number of vehicles simultaneously. When complete, the Mbudzi interchange, constructed under the Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program, will put an end to the chaos and congestion where two major highways converge, the Beatbridge Harare National Highway. Besides, the project will create direct employment for over 700 people and provide opportunities for more than 10,000 others. 1. Zim Cyber City This isn't just any city, it's a vision brought to life by Mulk Holdings International, a global conglomerate with a knack for innovation. They've unveiled Zim Cyber City, a technological marvel set in the lush landscapes of Mount Hampton, just 11 miles from the bustling heart of Harare. Notably, this is a cyber city, and that means it's all about seamlessly blending cutting-edge technology, digital infrastructure, and sustainable urban planning. The project is part of the Special Economic Zone SEZ, program, giving it the green light to make waves in the realm of urban development. Zim Cyber City aims to be the cleanest city in Zimbabwe with green spaces, eco-conscious design, and top-notch waste management. Furthermore, Zim Cyber City offers luxurious townhouses and villas that'll make your jaw drop. Think spacious living areas, stunning amenities, and a dash of nature's charm. Besides, this shopping mecca will have everything your heart desires, from high-end brands to international goodies. It will have public transportation, medical facilities, schools, and recreational zones, and it will be armed with advanced surveillance technology that's connected directly to the authorities. Overall, Zim Cyber City is more than just bricks and mortar, it's a testament to our nation's potential. Conclusion From the Batoka Gorge Hydroelectric Power Station to the Zim Cyber City, these endeavors are more than just construction. For instance, the Wang Thermal Power Station expansion is lighting up the path to energy self-sufficiency, powering homes, industries, and dreams. 
In addition, the Kariba South Hydropower Station expansion is harnessing the mighty Zambezi River to electrify our lives, all while preserving our precious water resources. Besides, the Batoka Gorge Hydroelectric Power Station is bringing clean energy and cross-border cooperation to the forefront, paving the way for Zimbabwe's sustainable development. These projects are no pipe dreams, they're realistic and poised to supercharge Zimbabwe's economy. They're creating jobs, improving infrastructure, and propelling our nation forward. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on Zimbabwe's progress and development.